What is going on guys, it's your boy Ellis here and this video has been long overdue. I've promised you guys a trading video for a very long time now and it's about time I stuck to my word and just get it out of the way. Around a month ago I was involved in a trading competition. You start with a £10,000 account and the person that can generate the most amount of return within a week would receive I think it was 5000 or £2,000 in a real trading account. Unfortunately I didn't win but because there's a lot of people trying to get in, involved in trading I wanted to kind of point them in the right direction of where I got my education from and the people that I kind of watched to gain my knowledge. That's basically what this video is going to be about. I wanted to do this when I had all the positions that I took open but at the moment I can't, I haven't got all of them. I've only got up until the last date which was the 9th. So the, so the competition started on the 4th of September which was on a Sunday and it ended the 9th of September which was on a Friday. The market's actually open Monday to Friday and close on Friday so even though the competition started on, on Sunday we only had like literally a week to generate as much income as possible. So I'll just quickly show you how much I was able to return and how much to start with because I don't want you saying I was lying blah 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 blah. As you can see, based on that, I returned £22,021.34 pence in a week. I know you can't see the position from below, but trust me, I started on the 4th, as you can see when the account was open, and I finished on the 9th. The last trade, the 25th, that was when I was meant to do the video, and I was kind of just testing something quickly, and accidentally placed the trade because obviously I wasn't used to this platform itself. But yeah, so I'm going to go through all the people that I've been watching like over the last past year to gain my knowledge to, to be able to generate that much. You might think it's slow, but it's actually not like I've actually only used everything that I've learned within that period of time. I might use it more aggressively because obviously I only had a week, whereas normally it's more like a marathon instead of a sprint. So 22,000, I wouldn't really expect that like on my my real account unless I had like a million in my account then 22,000 is nothing I can get like, like that in like 10 seconds obviously I haven't got that large of an account so I really did have to go aggressively with a 10,000 pound account to generate over 22 grand normally that wouldn't be the case because obviously with risk management and all that as if you follow these people then all of that will be explained I haven't got the credibility as I'd like to say okay listen to me so I'd rather point you in the right direction and then you can follow these people and you basically learn the same things that I learned and apply it. You never know where it can take you. Looks like I've been craving Starbucks all week. So I'm gonna get um, a frappuccino or something and I'll come back and start this video. I'll come back and finish this video before the sun goes down. <gasps> See you in a bit. Let's get down to business. <clears throat> if you're thinking about trading and you're really interested in it, then there's a few things that you must stay away from. First of all, the key is education. Like you keep educating yourself. It is so important like obviously the more you learn the more you earn and with trading like you just have to keep like you're just constantly learning you might jump on one day and have a very good day but then you cannot consistently keep doing that if you're not educated about what you're doing i had that problem at the start where i thought i was the best i was a g and obviously it never went well good thing i wasn't really investing like loads of capital and loads of my money i was just testing it to see how it was I saw the potential and then I just took the time to really educate myself and see how it works. There's a lot more that I haven't discovered yet, but all these people, I've been constantly watching them throughout the last six months, the last past year. They've really opened my eyes and I'm not becoming better. I'm not perfect. Like, I'm still, my psychology is still kind of, like, annoyed. Like, I need to work on my psychology more than anything. And my discipline is so out of line and those are so important. It's, it can be crazy easy. It's literally just clicking a button. If you dedicate like 10,000 hours to anything, you can be a professional. If you dedicate 10,000 hours to doing this, then without a doubt, you can be, you will, you will definitely be a professional at it. So let's show you what it actually looks like, okay? It comes with a lot of back testing, which is so crucial because 
for instance why the reason why i say signal services are not that great because okay these social media traders they love like putting out images and stuff like that about how much they've accumulated and all this they might show you a result that I've that they gained in a good week and then you're like okay this looks like a good signal service let me jump on it and then the next week might just be absolutely horrible just losing after losing after losing and like this is rubbish like they're just taking my money obviously that's not really the case that's why it's so important for you to educate yourself with any trading strategy or anything there's co there's going to be a drawdown let's take the housing market for example the housing market might go crazy up and then everyone's on a hype oh my god the how housing prices are going crazy up it's the best time to buy a house and then what happens there's a recession or something like that and then the housing market just completely crash literally just similar to trading it's basically real estate with a much smaller capital so there's always a risk involved in real estate you can buy a house for a decent price and if the price goes up then you've made a lot you can buy a house then the economy goes down you've lost a lot it's basically the same so it's just basically buying at the right time and just education like it's so important i know i'm blabbering on i'm just trying to get like the main points out if you're interested and you watch till the end then obviously it might have some benefits to you let's go over one of my strategies that i've tested and has came out profitable and that i am implementing so let's show you what that looks like okay So let's say I've got one currency pair, one strategy, and one time frame. That's the result that I generated. So that was over 1,200% in eight years. And as you can see from, from, the, from the equity chart, like how the choppy up and down, like the, how the market goes up, that's basically what it's like. You, with a profitable strategy, you're gonna come out on top, but with, it, with the whole, it's like, as I said, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So you're gonna come out on top in the end, but within that period of time, there's going to be like ups, like gradual up. There's not going to be like drastic downs unless you don't know what you're doing and you don't have a proper management plan. And that's why I really suggest you go check these guys out. I'll put down in the description. But if with all of that in place, then my maximum Jordan, I think it's like 20%. Um, that's without money management. One of the graphs, you can see it's a lot more steady than one of the graphs that's not a lot more steady. The one that's steady is the one where I'm managing my trades properly. Like I'm not sitting around the computer constantly, but I'm managing my trades. And whereas the other one is like literally if I have a nine to five, I just set them and forget them kind of thing. So I just put, I just see the setup, I put it on and I just go to work and then that's gradually what's going to happen. So you can see the swings are a lot more up and down, whereas the one that has managed is a lot more consistent. I mean, I don't want to make this video go on for too long. There's so much I can talk about that I really don't think a lot of people are interested in. So I'm going to start with my top favorite people to watch. But obviously, everyone that I recommend in this list has valuable information. And some of the videos are long, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. If you're willing to learn, then obviously that's nothing. To First off is, um, I'll put all the links down in the description, is Akil Stokes. This guy, um, I remember the first time I saw his channel. I was just like, oh, this is way too complicated. All these strategies are just so long and I can't be asked with it. And I just literally couldn't be asked with him. Went to something else that was easy. That was crap. Came back to this guy and ever since, everything that he said, it just made sense. And I've stuck with him. They all have their different services and stuff like that you have to pay for, but they, all, they also all provide free information. And I personally think you don't need to pay for stuff, but when you do pay for it, then it's more like, structured for you so it comes across more easier and then step it's like step by step laid out but when you decide to do yourself like free stuff i'm not gonna say it's really complicated it just takes a bit longer and you have to really know what you're looking for following these people like they actually tell you what to look for but they don't give it to you unless you pay for their services so the free stuff is still valuable so akil stokes number one stephen hart he actually had this program called EAP that is valuable to me because obviously he has this free training that I've been interested that I was interested in. So it's like thirty pound a month or something like that. And I just got it so I can watch the free training, get all my notes down, and obviously I can cancel whenever I want. So those are the two main ones. And then Akil Stokes worked for this company called Trading Empowered. Some of his video goes here, and obviously they've got like a, a team of traders that all provide valuable information. So that's number three. Joshua Martinez. I've learned a few stuff from him as well. Um, there's this guy at, at the Denomo Initiative. Last and finally, this guy has provided me with valuable information. It is Shiva. So as I said, all the links are down in the description. 
if you're interested go check the channels out and hopefully they'll provide you some information of value they've provided me with information of value and obviously i just don't want people making the same mistakes that i did at the start and if this video helped in some way and if you're going to check these guys out make sure you say ALS sent to you say that for me please i'm going to end this video here if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure you do so and drop a like please and i'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year so please help me achieve that goal like it's not so much to ask i'm just like 300 subscribers off so please hit that subscribe button please okay and i'll see you guys in the next video peace